Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. So I can have that coal, that can sort of come out there and over to that side. Or I can just run, actually I think we'll run this belt. In a line over to there, and then it's going to go that way like that. There. It's actually, I'll get rid of that bit in a second. Okay, let's come down and land, although I'm over the water right now, and get rid of that bit. And then I can take more belt. This can go over here. Let's just come back here and make sure that they've connected that up. And then I can go over here because I want to just very quickly do the little bit where we go over the top of, excuse me, uh, over the top of the belt quick. So I'll pop that one in like that and then I'll delete those two and then we will put that in and bring it back down to the ground so that it does that little low jump over like that, which is such a cool little trick. I really do like that trick. And it's a good job I got some more of these because I kind of need one right there. All right, that's powered that up. I got nearly a million coal in that vein right there. Now we go to logistics and we bring that belt out that way. That is going to go over here. You have mastered the gravitational wave refraction technology and the space warper made of graviton lens can make mecha and logistics vessels warp. Okay, so we've now achieved warp speed. I'm assuming that that is a really good thing. Put that in and join that one in. And then you can come out of there and connect that one. And then you will go... That's angle too wide. So you're going to go up there like that. And... Actually, I think that one's just going to end up going back down to there like that. And then this belt is going to go up to there, and it's going to go on a bit further like that. And then I'm going to jump up into the air, and that is going to go that's out of building range. Right, that's going to go straight across the ocean, over that way, and then I can start building up everything else that I want to build up over on this side. We're going to sort of connect together a whole load of the stuff up there. And, right, let me bring that belt over that way. That's going to come down here, and it's going to go to there, like that. That's what we're going to do with that. That's going to side load over on there, and I don't need to worry about it anymore. So what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for that to kind of side load and stuff is I'm going to... Lay a bit of foundation just here on this bit. I want to fill that up. I want to level this all out. Like this. Because once I have leveled this out, we can start putting down a whole load of furnaces. And we can start turning the coal into energetic graphite. The only major problem that I can see happening for us is that we're going to end up with um, a, a power a, a, a power deficit. We're, we're going to we're going to have problems with power. That's that's going to be our major problem. Now, we have got our Dyson Spheres, or our Dyson Swarms, that are sort of helping us out with the power situation. And we're milking power off of those, but we do still have a little bit of a power. We've got energy accumulated 7.9 gigajoules. Generation capacity 110, consumption demand 55. That could very well change, though. Things could be a whole lot different. I can't do any more research at the moment until I start making these purple ones. And I'm holding off of that until I've sort of finished this little build that we're in the process of. So I want 50 of these now. This is an insane amount. The main coal line in is going to be there. So we're going to go one, 
I'm just going to put one down to start with. Now, I was told that there is a copy-paste thing, but I'm not sure where this copy-paste is. I'm not even sure there is a proper copy-paste function yet. Dismantle and upgrade facilities. Well, I don't think there is a proper copy-paste function. It doesn't actually it doesn't seem to be one. I can quit construction mode. And have that. See, I can select recipe in here. And that's easy enough. Because I can go with the energetic graphite, which is the one that I want in there. And then what I can do is I can shift copy that one. And that puts the same recipe down. But I've still got to load all of the the bits for it. Right, there's a bit there. That's going to really bug me, that is, if I don't do something about that. So we will flatten that area out. Uh, flatten out some of this area as well. Oh, that has the potential to bug me as well. Right, so there's five of these. Let's go back to uh, production. Right in there, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right there. So then we separate it by a gap of one, and then I can bring this. Right, slight mistake. Oops. Copy. There, right. Copy that out like that and then what I want to do is I want to go shift co uh, shift click on there so that I am copying out the same recipe all the way back like that and then we'll do the same again I'm just going to leave a gap of one because I think I can get away with doing this, leaving a gap of one in between each strip on these, and it will actually work. I'm probably going to want to upgrade the belts across the entire network, but I don't actually know if I am or not. Let me just shift click that just in case. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then we need to leave that gap of one in there. And then we leave a gap of one over here as well. So this is 50 smelters. I'm probably not going to need this many. Um, in fact, I'm pretty certain I'm not going to need this many smelters. And I'm pretty certain that this is actually going to be too many smelters for anything to be able to sort of function properly. But I don't really care. I'm going to try it anyway. So we're going to go with logistics. I want the conveyor belt Mark III to go through a big chunk of this. So I'm just going to go and get some of the conveyor belt Mark III that we've got over here. Somewhere. There it is. I'm going to want a whole load of that. And I'm actually going to take a good 1,500 or so of those so that... I can upgrade some of this belt coming back through as well. Like, I can upgrade a big chunk of that. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go right in here. And then I'm going to shift to upgrade. And that is upgrading a massive quantity of that. I can't upgrade any more. That's, that's maximum upgrade onto there. And then I'm going to go back over this way and... Right, I can upgrade up to that point, and then I think really I want to sort of go back to here, and I only want to upgrade a single one there, and then upgrade that. So that's the fast belt, back to several of the sort of blocks that I've gone and made, and then I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to also upgrade that to quite a fast belt up to there, and... I do the same going back that way. So I don't need any more upgrades. I've got this belt still. I've got like 2,000 of them. We've got more than we're probably ever going to want. 
So that's going to come in this way, and then the belt is going to go up in between each of these, and it's going to go up to that point right there. And then the next one will run in between that lot and go up to there, like that. Now, that's 50 belt. That's, that's 50 smelters in there. I'm actually thinking if I do one more line and I do 60 smelters... You know what? Let's not do one more line. Let's just stick with the ones that we got because this is insane. And we'll get rid of that bit just to start with. Right there. And then I can go to logistics and I can put one splitter there and one splitter there. That is all we're going to need for this. And then you join in and you split that way and you join in over to here and you split that way. And then that one will come out and will go over to this side. And then the final bit of belt will run all the way down over to there like that. She's going to go out by one further like that so that it will match all of the others. So then we're going to want these other belts. They're going to run in the same direction. But they're going to start from back here and they're going to go out the front of this chain. Now do the same with that line. That one's going to go out to the front over there. And then that one is going to go out to the front over there. So it's all super fast belts. I could get away with just using the Sorter Mark 1 on this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stick with the Sorter Mark 2. I've only got 56 of them, so I'm definitely going to need more of those before we finish. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 of those, 60 of those, like that. It actually does uh, two at a time, so I've got like 120 of them now ordered. Um, I'll do power at the end. So we take this one out and just on this belt on this side, I'll just do in the middle. And run that down through. Do in a minute. This is the bit that I was saying about. Like, I'm sure someone said that there is a proper copy-paste function. And it's this copy-paste function here that would be rather useful, but I don't think there is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corner on each of these. I'm going to put it in like that. So then it'll go that side and it'll go this side. And we'll just work our way up through on each of these. Putting them on each side like that. I've got the Mark II sorter going into these. And then the Mark III belts are moving all of the materials. I'm hoping that'll be enough. I can't see it actually carrying all of the materials that we're going to want. So now I've got to go back up through here. So these are going to come out from the furnaces. Like this. Each I've got 50 furnaces, which means I've got to put in 100 sorters to be able to finish all of this piece. And the last few right there and done there we have it we have now got all of those in place i'm going to just connect up these belts before we go and do the next stage and that one will go over to there and then that one will come out this way and i'm actually going to go up in the air by one point now like that that's just going to run in a straight line over to there. I need to connect back in over this side. It's fairly straightforward. So I will bring it to that point right there, I think. Let me just... Yeah, that is the exact right point. But what I'm actually going to want to do is I'm going to want to take that up a little bit higher... In a minute, I'll take it over to here, and then we'll go up a little bit, and I'll bring it down a little bit, and I'll bring it over, and then I'll bring it down a little bit more, and it's going to connect into there. Okay, 
I've now got everything connected right the way in and all the way through. I've got... The copper here is almost run out. It's not completely out, but it's almost run out. We've got like 145,000 left on that vein in total, but th there's not a lot left. So we've sort of got to keep that in mind. Uh, what's the power situation doing? I can't click on that. I can... There we go. and click on that one. Consumption demand 35, 36, 37, and generation capacity is 106. That will increase later on, because we're going to be using a whole load more energetic graphite and stuff like that. Uh, right now, though, we want to go in here, and I want to start putting these Tesla Towers in. And I've just realized we've got a major issue with this build. I'm not going to be able to reach, with power, the items in the middle. These satellite substation bits, I don't have enough items to go and make. I can't make these, because I'm not making any carbon nanotubes that requires a chemical facility to go and make that. I can't make any of them myself. Despite the fact that I've got that. So, no, that is not something I can make in my hand. Which means that I can't make that wide area power distribution facility. Provides longer range power transmission and a large power supply area. That would be really awesome. Because I've gone and built a very compact build in here. And I have just found the folly of my ways. So, let's at least just put a few of these around the edge. It reaches in that far, right? So if I put one here. It gets to that point. We can put another one in over there. One in the middle. All right, it's it's still leaving some bits over there. And, and do the same over here. And I can join that in. And join that in. So, I mean, some of this is already firing up. But there's bits right here in the middle that I can't do anything with. Uh, I literally cannot touch them. Because I've compacted this down too tight. It's not going to fit. Which is possibly the single most frustrating thing that has happened to me yet playing this game. Is there a way? I can't bring that any closer at all. That won't go any closer. Not that it really matters, because... Like, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the speed that this stuff is running through. And these are using it up too fast. I've got gaps coming up here. It's sort of pushing in from the sides. So I can put in an extra one right there. And that sort of allows the bit that was missing off of there to sort of be taken care of. This side isn't allowing me to even get that close. Which is kind of weird. Right, why is that side out a little bit further than the previous side? Can I do this now? The only thing that I can think of is maybe if I shuffle a belt around a little bit. So if I was to get rid of that one and that one there like that. Remove you. Remove that belt up to there like that. Let me just go in here a second and... I've got a couple little bits there. There's not very much. Uh, if I go here and I pick up the coal right there, I'm not picking up very much coal. I thought I'd be picking up a bit more than that. There really isn't a lot of coal by the time it gets down over this side. What is this? Space Warper. Ah. 
that's how I go to other planets. So I'm just going to run back over to this side where the coal is coming in. And I'm going to click on there. And then I'm going to do... Now we're talking. So do what? Even that belt. It, it does seem to take a while to sort of fill up with any materials here that I might want to use. A little bit of time involved with doing that. But still, that's all right. There, we can let that go on through. And then I can go in here. I can drop in uh, one, two, three and a half stacks of that. So I got a little bit of coal and that's burning up and like changing things around. So in here, I'm going to take logistics and I'm going to take that fast one. And that one's going to go there and that one's going to go in there like that. And then that means that I can go and put a power supply down there like that. Which does actually get in a little bit further. If I do the same over the other side, I might be able to change things around a little bit. So we want to go down over here. And I want to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, also remove those. Back to the logistics belt. That's going to just do this here like this. Doesn't need to do anything more fancy than that, does it? And then this one can go in here. And that one can go in there like that. And then I can go and put a power supply uh, just in there. It's going to take, a, take care of all of them. So, it's a good job that we didn't build 60 of them. Because 60 definitely wouldn't have fit. Right, I've just got two up there. So, I need to... Actually, I only need to move this one right here. So, I'll clear that one and that one like that. And that one. And then I'll take a power Tesla supply. That one is going to go right in there like that. And then I will put the... Logistics, we'll put this one, the loader, that one's going to go angle too wide. That angle in too wide for anything. I need to, it's because I need to have the belt moving on a little bit further. So if I put that in like that, then I can take this one and I can hook it in. It's because it's like trying to take it off the end of the belt. So what I'm hoping is that if I can put a Tesla tower on this side and move it in, like it seems to reach a little bit further on this side. As long as we can just get it to reach that bit, everything will be tickety-boo. We'll just do a quick test on that. Ready, you. And those. And then that one will go right in at that. That is as far in as it will go. And that is... Bitterly disappointing. It's moved in by one space. Alright, it's just moved in by one space, but it's still not enough to put power right in the middle in there. So the only option I've got left is to put power right in the middle in here, but I don't see how that's going to benefit anything. Uh, let's get rid of that one first. You can go and then the belt can be restored down there like that. And that one can also be restored down there like that. Power can be restored there like that. Yeah, right. So somehow I need to get a power supply into the middle and I think the only way that I can realistically think of doing that is to actually get rid of those like that put just one of them down I suppose I could leave both of them out not really matter not at this point and drop a tower in Put that one in like that. So we've only got eight here on this side. I could have nine of them running, but, you know, it's it's better to have an even number. Uh, 
I guess we run with it like that. There we go. There's everything sorted out. The only problem we got is a bit of a lack of items coming in compared to the items coming through. So what I might do is just one slight change that we could do, a little, little tweak, is if we take this belt here and I bring it up that way, and then I bring it out over and I put it in like that, I've now got two of them feeding in. So yeah, it's going to split out over that side. But for the others, I've now got two belts feeding in rather than one belt feeding in, which means it's going to be sort of running through just a little tiny bit faster. Not that it really needs to be any faster at this stage. If you have a look over here, we filled everything up, but that's mainly because I don't have any research happening at the moment. So it's kind of like reached a bit of a pause in everything that it's doing. Let's just load up the rest of the coal. I want three bits of coal right in there. Like that. Put those back together. And then I'm looking to pick up a couple of these. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a couple. And then we can go back over here. Everything is built back and stopped. Unfortunately, that also means that the oil production is built back and stopped. And it's the oil production that we actually want from here. With the rest of it, it doesn't matter so much. But the oil is something that we need and we use. There's not a lot that we can do about that at the moment. This down here. This is going brilliant. This is going absolutely swimmingly well. I can probably just stick with a super fast belt at this point. So I can unload a couple of those. And definitely the slow belt so I can get rid of them. So I get rid of that little bunch of slow belts that I've got in there. And then we just got to wait for the rest of the slow belts to sort of make. And then the other stuff to go and make. And, and it, it, it'll be absolutely fine. Right, I don't want to dismantle anything there. I want to land. So, the next item that we want to make is that one right there, Particle Broadband. In order to be able to do that, we need plastic being brought over, which we are making. And we've got crystal silicon over here. And we want to start making this. I need the graphene. So, from elsewhere, uh, back over to here, I need graphene. Which I'm already bringing over. If we go back this way, there is the graphene. So I'm just going to bring that out from there. It's going to come this way by one. And then it's going to go up like that. And I'm actually going to remove the two like that. And then I'm going to put that in. And I'm going to put that back down onto the ground like that. Right. So then this line can come up here. Bring you in. Actually, you know what? I'm just that that can stay. I can go up there like that. It possibly cannot get up over here. I don't know. I'm gonna bring the graphene down. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.